All right, YouTubers, Christmas is over. Holiday season is over. So now I'm heading back to Dayton. Later than I wanted to and quite a bit of traffic, but we'll see. I will, Gelf Boy. I know where I'm going. Take that driving line. Take that racing line. Nobody behind me, so I don't need to try to go super fast. My windshield is probably pretty dirty. I can see that it's dirty. I tried to clear a spot, but with the hot and then cold, there was condensation, and my windows are a little dirty. This is it for now. I'll ramble in a bit. I'm not in the far right lane like I normally am because people. <laughs> I try to get over there. But I'm doing a speed limit, but normally I like to be over there. The weather was bizarre. Probably the same for most people. A couple days before Christmas, it was down in the teens at night. Now it's uh, been in the 60s the last two nights, two days. And I think last night it stayed above 50. The low was like 50 on Christmas Day. Just insane. But you don't need to hear me talk about traffic, I don't think. I'll talk about other stuff in a bit. All right, a lot of people going too slow, trying to get on to 70. First question, anybody recommend a really good and stable arm for a windshield, for a GoPro? I don't know what I got, but I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, everybody's going to fight to get one spot further and mess everything up. Elf boy, I know where I'm going. I got to mute you. But when I need you to talk, I need you to talk. I'm not going to do any music in this video. Oh, truck day. We don't have to stop. You can either listen to me or watch the traffic. I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody's got to fight. repairs on the window seemed to be doing pretty good while my nephew was there he had to get his windshield replaced so safe light repair came out it was pretty cool watching it's pretty felt bad for the dude because like the whole family was out there watching the guy replace the windshield but I did I did realize something family member neighbor so I got like a secondary friend he works for a company that makes adhesives and caulks and stuff like that for vehicle uses and I had a plan going into this whole window repair and it's still gonna stand true he said he has some stuff that will work great so in the spring my plan was and still will be is to find out how much it's going to cost to have that window seal correctly replaced, repaired, made to 100% normal. Then I will judge the price of that. And if it's too high, he has some stuff that he said will work perfect if I want to seal it shut and stop it from leaking. Also, I was looking through comments. And I haven't replied to any because, you know, Christmas. But I saw one comment where I'm not sure if I... I know that I wrote that the tape I used is a turnabond. But I said a 
different name a couple times, but I'm actually using a Turnabon tape on it. And also somebody asked me, well, why isn't my mattress ruined where the water got in? And that is because of luck. Um, the mattress is double-sided, so there's a pillow top on each side. So to stop that from getting scratched up on the wood, I put um, mattress covers on it. Well, I happen to use waterproof mattress covers. So that kept the water from getting onto the mattress and kept it on the, on the wood. So that was a little bit of luck that I, that I just happened to use waterproof mattress covers on both sides. Now I put a waterproof mattress on the top, like I said before, in case an animal gets sick. And I was doing that before I started putting a shower curtain over the bed until I went to sleep. And I just ended up... So I just ended up keeping those waterproof mattress covers and uh, I'm very glad I did because that saved my mattress from getting ruined and getting moldy and stuff like that and the wood that, hold on, the wood that got water damage, I took it out just in case it's got uh, any mold. I don't think there was but you know water, I'm stuck here water is terrible but so is mold you don't want water getting in and you don't want mold growing you're going too slow lady this is 70 and she's doing under 60 oh no this is still 65 here but, so that's the update on the uh, the leak situation. And I also, somebody had asked me in the past, they said their um, air conditioner had a leak. And I'm gonna do, do another video. And I'm gonna show you what you can do if you got that problem. So if you've ever had your air conditioner leak water, I think I got a quick little fix. In the next few days, I'll make a video on that. So the new GoPro, I think it has a little bit less road noise than the old one, but the volume, I did boost it up a tiny bit when I was in editing because somebody had commented that it was a little soft, so hopefully this is better. All right, so Christmas stuff. Um, presents I gave out. Um, well, first of all, I took that box of camping and stuff, and there was some stuff, most everything somebody wanted, so that worked out. I got those air mattresses at the thrift store. My nephew wanted those, so that worked out. Some other camping stuff for the rest of the people. Um, <laughs> something funny. I had a potato masher. I said, if anybody likes this type, I hate these. They don't work for garbage. Which got a good laugh because as I've said before here, I'm not a baker. Apparently what I thought was a potato masher was actually a pastry cutter. So that's a good reason why it didn't do crap as a potato masher. So I like those old heavy styles. Yeah, because those are actual potato mashers. And I bought everybody new, not thrift store junk, those save the planet vegetable bags. You know, instead of using the plastic bags at the grocery store, these are breathable mesh bags meant for that. They work great because, A, I got a little tree hugger to me, so you're not doing all those plastic bags. And those plastic bags also hold in moisture and they make your vegetables go off sooner. So uh, I also bought myself some of the Save the Planet vegetable bags. Those were good and I got some nice stuff. So that was cool. Food, we cooked a lot of really good food. And that's always, that's turned into what Christmas is more about. You know, no little kids around anymore, so it's not about presents, it's about food and drink and eating and all that good stuff. So that was fun. 
I hope everybody out there in YouTube land had an enjoyable Christmas, either with family or if you're escaping the cold out in the desert. I hope you had a good time with friends and whatnot. And that's it for now. I am again doing 70 miles an hour. I'm gonna slow down. So I'm also gonna ramble that tomorrow is the Ohio State game. Well, I should say, Today, or possibly yesterday, was Ohio State game, depending on when I get this posted. Um, I'm not like 95% of the Buckeye fans out there that think, oh, this is going to be easy. All I will say is if they play the way they did in the first half against Wisconsin, even for just a half, they're going to get beat. If they play the way they did in the second half of Wisconsin and most of the season, should be a good game and I think they can beat Clemson. But either way, Clemson's gonna be a good test for them. It's gonna be a heck of a game. It could be a close game, it could be a blowout. Either team could blow out the other one if things don't fall well for Ohio State. Um, this was a few years ago be jump around screaming and yelling. I don't jump around screaming and yell anymore. I just hope they win. And I don't say we, which can make some people angry, but you're sitting on your sofa, you're sitting in a bar, you're eating Cheetos, getting dust all over you, you ain't we. <laughs> if you went to that school, maybe we, but there's a lot of people that love to say we that don't, shouldn't deserve to say we. Basically, to sum up the football stuff, if you have a team that you care about and they're in it, I hope they do well. If it's a team playing against my team that I hope does well, um, I still wish you good luck, but I don't hope for your team to win. <laughs> All right, we're doing 75. I need to slow down. I was, thought I was gaining on that semi pretty good. It's a pretty night. Um, I have another point, but I'm going to stop for a minute. Go, bro, stop. So the other point I wanted to bring up was, this is actually a request for advice or help anybody that might actually edit videos and put them on YouTube. Um, I said before the new camera that I'm using here records in 4K, but I'm just using Microsoft Movie Maker, which will not save in 4K, so I cannot upload in 4K. And I was wondering if anybody out there knows of free, I like the word free, software for editing videos that can save in 4K. Um, I know I should move on from Movie Maker, but it's simple. I learned it, and I'm one of those that I don't want to spend a good portion of my life learning a new editing software. For more, my videos are more vlog style anyways, I'm not trying to make movies. If anybody has any recommendations for good uh, editing software, I'd like to hear it. That's all I got for the request for help. I'm also hoping that tomorrow is as nice a day as today. It's supposed to still be nice because Eduardo here needs a bath. And if I got super lucky and it's a great day, I'd love to throw a coat of wax on him for the winter random thought shared with you on YouTube. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty happy with the GoPro 7 Hero Silver. I just wish GoPro was a little bit cooler about setting up lapel mic stuff. They make it really difficult. Difficult and expensive, but one of these days maybe I'll break down and get one because it would make the driving video so much better, I think. All right, so I'm sitting here thinking about the mistake with the, with the potato masher. And I try to spin everything to a positive, so I'm going to say that actually proves I'm intelligent. Because there's some theory, it's named after two people, that... Um, People that aren't intelligent think they're very intelligent, and intelligent people realize there's so much stuff that they don't know that they don't think they're intelligent. 
So I'm going to find a way of being unintelligent to tell myself, well, I'm more clever than I thought I was. <laughs> you got a good laugh at everybody. That's not what that's for, dude. <laughs> Which makes perfect sense because it's soft as a potato mash. But I don't mash a lot of potatoes in it. But somebody ended up with a nice uh, pastry cutter. Alright, back to realizing I'm not as intelligent as I think I am. <laughs> and because I want to keep talking, Go-Go uh, Juice went way up in price. I was going to top off, but I can make it back without spending more, so I'll wait to see if it goes down a little bit. Again, my kingdom for Elon Musk to turn this into an electric RV. That would be so awesome. Even if my range was only 300 miles, I'd drive 300 miles, find a campsite, charge up, move along. Zero gas cost. Wouldn't that be amazing in an RV? Because fuel cost is what makes makes in some people's lives makes it more sensible to travel by hotel if you can get good deals on hotels you can probably travel cheaper I was having this call conversation with a relative but as I said there you're comparing apples and pomegranates you know traveling by RV you have a totally different goal than traveling hotel to hotel place to place I can park this RV 10 feet from Lake Superior, which I've done many, many times. Or I can go to a hotel in downtown somewhere. Totally different thing. Because if you want to go to a hotel that's right on the water, you're paying a lot for that. Slow down, that's 72 again. I should put it on cruise. All right, that's enough of this stuff. This guy did look pretty for a while. All right, YouTubers, I will say I hope you had a very festive holiday season. Whatever you observe, I hope you observed it well and enjoyed yourself. And until the next video, I hope you have a great and wonderful day. Go Bucks!